Hey, it's uh, Benjamin Ray here with another edition of Sustainability Live. I have the honor and privilege of having Santa Claus uh, here with me today, and we're going to talk about sustainability and packaging. How are you today, Mr. Claus? Good, good, thanks. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing really well, too. You know, I've been trying to get a hold of you for the whole year, but I guess on your schedule, you're really booked. So today, uh, day after Christmas, is the best time to get a hold of you. And so thank you for being on the show. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I had a, a good holiday with my family, so thanks very much. All right, so let's just jump right into it here. So Santa, what are some tips that you have for people who have uh, packaging waste, you know, like all the wrappings and everything like that from, uh, from the holiday yesterday? Okay, so you recommend to separate out everything from, you know, like wrappers and cardboard and make sure that you recycle all of the packages that can be recycled and the rest uh, you can put in the trash, but make sure that the ones that can be recycled go in the recycling bin. Is that right? Okay, good. Yeah, I know it's, uh, I know it's a challenge for some people because, you know, the packages, we don't know what to separate and what's going to be recycled. So what are some guidelines around how to recycle your packages? Okay, yeah, that's good. So separate out the bows, separate out the plastic, separate out everything so that you can actually know what goes in the dumpster and what goes in the recycling bin. Because I think for a lot of our users here, it is a little bit confusing and, you know, how do you segregate it? How do you separate it? And most people, what they do is they throw everything in just big, you know, bags and they just toss it out. And I know that's a problem. Do you see that as a continuing problem, Santa? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, and I know, I know that's what I've been working toward is reducing packaging over the years and, and coming up with packages that are less, they have less paper on them or less plastic on them, especially single-use plastic yeah yeah I, I think so i think there is a demand for consumers to do away with packaging and just opt for gifts that, that don't have packages on them so is that a, an initiative okay good so that's an initiative that uh, you and the elves are working on to really reduce packaging waste and deliver gifts that are more eco-friendly because I know it adds up and I know it's a lot of work for your elves to package everything up, tie all the bows, you know, right, right on the, uh, the thank you for the uh, comment here. Yeah, it's uh, Santa. He's, uh, he's having a great guest. He's a great guest here. Thank you. Um, it's a lot of work for the elves to wrap up the packages, write everybody's name on them, look and see, you know, through your directories if they get coal and some socks you know, old socks with coal, as we talk about around here, or if we put, uh, you know, uh, if they get a nice gift, you know, something that's loving from their family. But I do want to say that, um, you know, something that you taught me a few uh, years ago was the best gift is uh, spending time with your family and friends. And, you know, I really want to stress that to the audience that in this upcoming year, we need more love, we need more togetherness, and uh, we really need to make the effort to to be together as much as we can. And our, what are you seeing on your side, Santa? Yep, that's a message too. You know, I know that I know that your elves are distancing, and that makes it a little bit challenging to you know get all the the gifts out. But you've done a great job. You know, I I want to say that every year you've done a great job as long as I can remember. It's, uh, you know, since I was a little kid. So going into this next year, what are your recommendations for what people can do to actually reduce packaging waste, especially when they're thinking about gifts? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. So when you're looking for gifts over the year, try to find ones that don't take extra packaging. Maybe shop locally, maybe find something that doesn't have a package at all, or you know, something that you taught me a few years ago is you can wrap up packages, let's just say in, um, you know, craft paper and use some twigs from the trees and some nice twine. You know, you don't have to be extravagant. You don't have to have 
wax paper, things that can't be recycled. But if you have a very simple wrapper wrapping, it can be just as elegant. And there's also another uh, a packaging concept. I think it's a Japanese concept that you taught me where you can wrap in fabric and, you know, tie the fabric up in bows so that, you know, there are a lot of great ideas that you taught me over the years. And I myself am going to be looking to those a lot more so in the coming year, uh, especially with this focus on sustainability and eco-friendly packaging. So I want to thank you, Santa, for being on our show today. And I know the viewers will get a kick out of it. They rarely ever see you. Everybody tries to see you every year, but you're super fast and you've got a lot of work. So thank you for spending time on my show today. And I will talk to you this time next year. Thank you.